गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ आवर मॉड्यूल फर्स्ट पार्ट ए इंटरव्यू स्किल्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी लर्न अबाउट द इंटरव्यू स्किल्स पार्ट फर्स्ट द थ्री पार्ट्स वी लर्न अबाउट प्रिपरेशन फॉर इंटरव्यू फेसिंग द इंटरव्यू वट आर द विनिंग स्ट्रैटेजीज एंड थर्ड पार्ट सम डोंट्स एट द टाइम ऑफ इंटरव्यू now we are going to learn the next part of it that is the personality traits essential for the interview interview the first part essential is that is personality traits essential qualities interviewers search for certain qualities in you with a keen eye some of them are mental alertness is there a mental alertness a critical power of assimilation balance of judgment clear and logical exposition variety and depth of interest leadership qualities intellectual and moral integrity persistence in adverse conditions etc those are the essential qualities for your interview to imbibe these qualities read books on great and successful personalities you must read newspapers regularly to develop your general knowledge next part for us of personality traits that is avoid job hopping a job hopper is the one who changes his or her job very frequently keep in mind you should not change your job frequently this is wrong as it implies that you are a money chaser rather than a career person as the job market has shifted over the past several decades job hopping is on the rise you may change a job only if it is necessary for some reason next trait loyalty you should be loyal in every perspective that is questions such as why are you leaving present organization or tell me about your boss are full of intention questions interviewers want to check whether you would let down or upload your previous organization always avoid uncomplimentary references or uncharitable remarks about former employers or associates next personality trait initiative that is employers consistently rank initiative as highly important across positions and roles industries consider it as a key quality to be demonstrated if you want to be hired many employers also see initiative as the ability to take ideas and follow them to persist in the face of difficulty and avoid inertia and see a project towards it, its com- completion in order to imbibe this quality find time for brainstorming and new ideas that could benefit your team or company next is teamwork and ability to work collaboratively you have to ab- able to work collaboratively and you must know what is the team work almost every job requires employees to collaborate or at least get along with a diverse group of colleagues the ability to work with others is a highly valued trait for employers next important trait effective speech your speech must be effective that is the best way to learn is to record your speech on your android phone and listen to it critically analyze your speech to find out whether you speak clearly and up to the mark this will satisfy yourself that your speech is clear has proper rhythm and sounds pleasant at the same time you should avoid humming and use of fillers such as well uh, i mean what i mean is as a matter of fact that is to say uh, to be honest uh, quite frankly in other words etc you should not use those kind of fillers at the time of speaking next confidence confidence is the key for success in interview whatever you speak you must speak with confidence it helps face obstacles in life too next important trait manner manners that is your manners are re- revealed as soon as you seek permission to enter the interview room 
the interviews interviewers observe your manners during the interview they keenly observe whether you use expressions such as please thank you and i beg your pardon kindly and excuse me you may use these expressions regularly they cost you nothing but reflect your positivity and give you a lot of mileage so these are the personality traits essential for <coughs> for your interview next part interviewers questions that is first part is first type closed questions these questions are asked by the interviewers to find specific information about you you are expected to answer these questions with a yes or no or in a single sentence generally they are used to check facts or clarify details from your resume these questions normally start with do have will verbs do you have to serve a notice period have you got a certificate or will you be leaving town in the next fortnight these and such other questions can be answered with yes or no next part open questions these questions are asked to get maximum information from you to validate your knowledge of the subject open questions start with wh words such as what where which when why and how such questions are not answered with yes or no for example why do you wish to leave your present job why did you decide to go for mba after your b when do you plan to join if you are selected and how do you plan to reach office from where you stay such questions require detailed answers next part type of questions are hypothetical questions these are the most important questions and pay attention for this kind of questions these questions are asked to evaluate your analytical and critical ability or critical thinking these questions start with conditional words like if or suppose or imagine some examples are if you are selected what would you do on your first day you must prepare for this kind of this kind of questions suppose you had to put together a project team how would you go about it imagine that your equipment broke down and what emergency strategies would you employ such questions are asked in the interview to evaluate your analytical ability logic and experience as well so remember hypothetical questions are most important part in interview questions next part answering important interview questions that is here are some examples and how you are going to give the answers of those interview questions first tell me something about yourself introduce yourself in the classroom also i always talked about this introduce yourself practice for it at the beginning of the interview this question is asked by the interviewer most of the candidates fail to impress the interviewers with the, with their answers to this simple question they start rattling about their family and personal lives in which the interviewers have no interest so speak only about the thing that you want the interviewer should know that is job related facts elaborate on your skills and how your skills can contribute to the organization what are your greatest strengths in the job interview employees deliberately ask this question so that you can present your best side and achievements to them accordingly answer sincerely by enumerating your strong points for example i am good at working with people i am willing to take risks i am good at solving problems and one of my greatest strengths is persistence these kind of answers are expected when you are going to answer the question like what are your greatest strength next question why should we employ or hire you to this question you should emphasize your academic strengths and devotion for the company illustrate your specific skills 
which would fulfill the employer's needs and give examples of how you can learn quickly and become productive give assurance that if you are appointed you will devote to the work wholeheartedly explain how you experience skills and attributes make you the best person for the job next question what do you know about our organization this question will be asked by the interviewers to know how much research you have done about the organization it is better for you to collect thorough information about the organization from website highlight maximum positive features and great achievements of the organization moreover it also gives you an opportunity to state things that the interviewer has not brought up how do you handle stress at the workplace this is also the most important question stress is common in many jobs employers want to know whether you are capable of handling it or not they expect you to answer positively you can answer this question by explaining how you typically respond to stress situations constructively and give an example to support it emphasize your positive attitude which would help in maintaining the company culture next question what critical feedback do you most often receive that is employers ask this question to see if you have a sense of self awareness and to know if you are actively working on self improvement to answer this question give a genuine example of criticism that you have experienced or a weakness you are aware of next question what is your greatest achievement interviewers might ask this question to understand what you consider to be your most valuable accomplishment to answer this question think about a recent example that is ideally related to the job in some way briefly explain the achievement your role in it and why it is valuable to you next question what are your salary expectations don't be in a hurry to discuss expectations of salary early in the interview process try this response that is i humbly believe that your company can pay me what i am worth however you may ask for the range of pay you may say something like that is that stuff question can you tell me the range of this position so in this way you are going to answer the question for question what are your salary expectations next question what are your hobbies or interests one of the most commonly asked interview questions is what are your hobbies hobbies are seen as markers of a balanced personality who is adept at juggling person personal or prof and professional lives you should mention your hobby which is helpful in enhancing your knowledge like attending seminars visiting a library etc how do you go about solving problems this is also most important question in the interview you can give a position response a positive response by saying that you consider problems in a systematic and effective way and then demonstrate that you have problem solving abilities if you are asked about your approach to facing problems related to job work tell them how you will identify the problem would conduct research and gather relevant facts prepare a plan of action to solve the problem and implement the solution you should be able to play the role of a troubleshooter so in this way there are some specific examples specific questions are given here and it is written that is what kind of answer you should give at the time of interview next part a model interview here is example of model interview that is full job interview for the post of a regional manager of a private company located in pune study the questions and answers carefully in your textbook there is a model interview 
for the post of a regional manager of private company read that interview carefully and try to prepare prepare another model interview of yourself and write down the answers of the candidate so in this way we finish this particular module of interview skills in the next lecture we will see the next part of our module number 1 part b the interview which is a prose part for prescribed for you till then thank you